Greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, to episode 24 of Exoplace Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. All right, so this is the last sparks level in the game. Uh, it is only accessible after defeating the sorceress. So technically, the moment you get to Midnight Mountain, and if you have enough eggs to fight the final boss, uh, you can go ahead and do that and then play this level right away and have those Sparks benefits for the actual levels. Uh, but because I wanted to show off those money bags conversations, uh, that's that's why we didn't do that. So uh, for on a normal playthrough, I'd recommend fighting the Sorceress right away. Uh, it'll make a lot of things easier, actually. Uh, but, you know, for playthrough's sake, I, I did it this way. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the Bugbot Factory. This is Sparks' final level in the game. It is the most challenging one, as you might expect. Um, lots of enemies that kind of chase you around. We have an enemy generator that doubles as an enemy. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, visually, this level's not super interesting, but it's kind of... Okay, you know what? Something about these levels, these overhead shooting Sparks levels, for some reason, reminds me a lot of the Captain Quark side-scrolling levels from Ratchet and Clank 3. I can't specify what it is exactly. I don't know what it is about these levels that reminds me so much of that, but this level in particular reminds me a lot of the, the level with the robot pirate ghosts. Yes, that is a thing that happens in Ratchet 3. Which is a game I really should play, because I do love- I do love Up Your Arsenals a lot. <laughs> Up Your Arsenal is definitely my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, I know- I- I- See, unlike with, um, Spyro 2 versus Spyro 3, there- I understand why people like a going commando more than Up Your Arsenal a lot more. I- I think- it, you know, it makes sense to me, like, if you want more level, because, like, in many senses, Going Commando is the better game. Uh, you know, just more intersubjectively speaking. It has more levels, it has more musical tracks to listen to, um, it keeps a tighter focus on the gameplay for the most part, there's more platforming. So, like, I get it, but it's just like, ultimately, I, when it comes to pretty much everything else, I like Up Your Arsenal more. I know. Well, I'll have plenty of time to talk about that later, so, yeah. I get why people like Ratchet 2 more than 3, but, you know, personally, it's just not a preference I happen to share. Which is all, that's just, just fine, you know? But, yeah. Uh, let's see. Can I go next? This, this level does get kind of mazy in this chunk. Because, obviously, you got this big room and a couple of side rooms with enemies that you can fight. Yeah, I thought I'd missed something. Don't want to miss any of those gems and have people in the comments be like, You missed that gem. Because that's happened far too often in this playthrough. This playthrough's been kind of a disaster. Ugh, that's that's what I get for practicing so far in advance and then having a hiatus. Uh, but I digress. I've gone on about that enough. You guys know what happened. Alright, this is, this is a tricky chunk right here because we obviously have that enemy generator down here. And I ran out of juice in my power-up, so now we got... Okay, we managed to get him anyway. Get it! Jeez. I don't know why it is that even though this, this these sections work with an analog stick, you're still not allowed to go, like, with full... An it's like Pac-Man World, if you've ever played that. Where it technically supports DualShock, but it doesn't actually support 360-degree con analog control, you know? This is another place where a uh, twin stick would work really well, but unfortunately that is not a thing that is available in this game. I mean, to be fair to this version of the game, it's not something that ex that really had a precedent. So it's not like people were going to think to try it, you know. But still, uh, twin stick. I really hope we get twin stick and reignited trilogy. I should shoot the developers a tweet or something and ask them about it. Because uh, twin stick controls would be really great for this. Uh, I don't know. It probably wouldn't really make them that much easier, honestly. You know, I, I, what I mean is that it wouldn't make them too easy, is the point I'm trying to make. 
but I digress. Uh, we've already wrapped up this level, it only took us a few minutes. And we have this boss, which looks like a Glover enemy. I don't know why, but ever since I brought up Glover in the review, lots of people are asking me about Glover. Uh, I like Glover quite a bit, actually. It's a, it's a good game. It's kind of an underrated little gem for N64. Uh, it was actually one of the games I had mentioned on the on the recent poll. You know, if you guys are keeping up with the uh, the um, the messages on my channel, you know, the uh, the creator community tab updates. Been keeping up with the poll there. One of the options was a new segment featuring a, a an N64 gem. That gem was Glover, uh, but obviously that video did not win the poll because people are only interested in Roar for some reason. I don't know why. Is it, is it literally just the version comparison stuff that people like about that? Because, you know, structurally and quality-wise, I feel like my normal reviews are, you know, about, about in the same... I put the same amount of production value into my regular reviews as I put into my roars. It's not like structurally they're all that different. The only difference is the version comparison stuff. Or maybe it really is just the logo that people are looking for. I don't know. I don't get it. This, this boss is annoying. Uh, but I like fighting him more than the Manta Ray, personally. Like, uh, once you once you shoot him enough, he'll split the two guys, and then he becomes a little bit dip trickier that way. And I think this half will go along the walls, or not. He just does whatever he wants. This is another case where uh, twin sticks would be really helpful, because it's kind of hard to aim at him. You know, because you have to keep, like, letting go of the strafe button to change the direction you're aiming, you know? Which is just kind of annoying. It would be so much better with Twin Stick, but I digress. Annabelle, those terrible horror movies that people keep paying money to watch. Because we need we need more shitty horror movies. That's something that we need. Ugh. Tell you what, folks, let's make this one long part. So you've only really got that last egg must have had some extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests, and using the Atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. So yes, that's that's the reason why I'd recommend the moment you get to Midnight Mountain, and as soon as you can fight the sorceress, go do that. Because those abilities right there are very helpful for speedrunning. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why I don't think the backtracking in Spyro 3 is as bad as Spyro 2. Why did I go here? No, I don't want to do that. Jesus. Ugh, I don't want to try again. Come on. Alright, let's leave this sh shite behind. Alright, so now we're leaving. As Shrek would say in Shrek 2, get your coat there, we're leaving, Fiona. That's all there is to do there. Okay. Let's hop on over here real quick. Kill those geckos. Looks like... Do we seriously not have enough yet? What am I missing? Oh, I know exactly what I'm missing. Right, right. But let's talk to Zoe real quick anyway. This portal has been sealed with the strongest magic I've ever seen. You'll need all the dragon eggs and all the gems from each world to break the seal. Yeah, so this is this is a secret level that we cannot access yet. But thankfully, the last thing on our list is right up here. Don't worry, Spyro. I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh, uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles! So this, this is another reason why this is Moneybag's best appearance in any Spyro game, is this little moment right here. This Moneybags has been an absolute douchebag throughout this entire game. Like, basically finding any reason in any way he can to trick you and other people out of out of their money and at this this is the point for Spyro where he finally crosses the line where he steals a dragon egg for himself and now you get the satisfaction of ramming him in the ass and taking all of your money back which is just just a great way to, to cap off 
Moneybags' arc in this game. Just, it's just, uh, it's just great. Now obviously you're gonna need, this is the reason why I played all, all those levels early, or before fighting the sorceress, because after you play this, after you defeat the sorceress, Moneybags will immediately appear on that bridge, and then he will not appear in any other levels after that point. Like, all of his, uh, progression gates will stay, will stay unlocked. <laughs> Drat! Double drat. Drat, 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 Oh, I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. So, even though, yes, yeah, so we got that last dragon egg, we got all of our money back. It's more satisfying to do it for ourselves than to have Hunter do it off screen. So then he will run into Crystal Islands here and you will never see him again for the rest of the game. So if I had fought the sorceress early, uh, we would have missed out in a couple of money bags cutscenes in some of these later levels. Uh, but like, like I said, uh, those sparks abilities that we got from that last level are very useful. Uh, like, one of the ones that we got is the ability to warp to any level we want. Uh, like, for example, we want to go back to Desert Ruins, we could press triangle and you just warp there. Uh, so, if there was an Agent 9 section in Fireworks Factory, or a Bentley section in Bamboo Terrace, that you could not play right away. Um, then, the moment you get that ability from the Flash Sparks level, you could just warp back there, grab the egg that you need real quick, and then, you know, be done with it. You don't have to walk around in the hub worlds to get back. Which is just, you know, that's another one of the reasons why I don't think the backtracking is as bad in this game. Ugh, but I digress. Hey, you finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure. But after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. All right. So this is, this is basically Nasty's Loot 2.0, except without the fun, uh, the fun gimmick of, you know. With Nasty's Loot, they had that, that thing where, like, however high you got on a platform was how high you were able to glide with Spyro. Like, you, you basically got free flight in that level, and the amount of height that you could reach with it depended on how, how high of a platform you had last reached. This level does not have that gimmick, but it does have uh, the same focus on thieves that that other level did. Uh, and it does have some fun uh, power-up gate stuff as well. A couple last hurrahs for some game mini-game styles that we've seen so far. Um, we get to see our favorite characters one last time, and there might even be a boss fight at the end. Uh, so this is easily my favorite of the uh, reward secret final levels in the Spyro Trilogy. Uh, just in terms of how much they were able to cram into it and how climactic it feels. Pretty much the addition of a secret final boss kind of pushes it over the edge for me. Uh, but I digress. Uh, we get to chase down the thieves one last time. Uh, there's going to be a snowboarding section we get to play. Um, there's We get to use the combination fire flight power up again. Uh, there's the boss. There's just all sorts of fun stuff to do here, so... Yeah. It's it's pretty good final secret final level in my opinion probably strongest in the Spiral Trilogy because my problem with uh, Dragon Shores was fine but it was just too easy and too short uh, you know it was you know it was fine I didn't hate it or anything but Nasty's loot I thought was better uh, because it had that fun gimmick to it uh, with this I don't know it's just my favorite one I don't know what else to say at this point. Alright, once you get enough gems, you'll be able to gradually open more of these doors here. Let's see, there might be a couple more I missed, but I guess we'll go find them later. Uh, so, Hunter should be in over here. Hi, Spyro! Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. It was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Great! Hop aboard! 
Alrighty, gentles and ladies, man. So, the, uh, submarine minigame from Lost Fleet is back, and it has all the same rules. Uh, these submarines will drop mines, just like the second round of the minigame in Lost Fleet. Uh, so you don't want to stick directly behind them, you want to, you want to kind of go off to the side, but still kind of have the reticle aim at them. And once again, if, if you can manage to aim the torpedo at them and, you know, lead your shots and whatnot, you can kill them that way as well, but, yeah, there, there are seven subs to go after this time. I don't know, this, this minigame's pretty quick, it's, I know, I, you know what, I, personally, while this is still my favorite final level of the bunch of the three games, um, I do think it was kind of a missed opportunity that you don't get to play as the other playable characters in this level. That would have been a lot of fun. You know, if you had a hunter section and, a, you know, a Sheila and, you know, they didn't have to be super long or anything, but just kind of one last acknowledgement that they were in the game. As is, we have this, we have this submarine minigame comes back, even though it was like just something from one level. Uh, we have a snowboarding section, then we have the the flight stuff, and then we have the final boss. Uh, so it's kind of like, why of all the minigames did the submarine one get chosen? Why was that chosen to come back? That's, that's something that kind of all I always found was kind of weird. Alright, this guy started to piss me off. Come here, you. Man, this is an evasive little fart, isn't he? Got him. Got all that money, too. That's all there is to it. You don't have to swim under there at all. In fact, this, this water, this is just regular water, so you can, you can swim down there if you want, but there's nothing to actually find. I think those wall textures might be reused from another level. Either, um, it's either the ice level from Crystal Glacier from Spyro 2, or it's, uh, God, what was it called? I don't know, whatever. We've reached one of the hardest minigames in Spyro 3. Um, it is actually pretty goddamn challenging. Uh, it's probably gonna take me a... Okay, I don't think it's supposed to do that. Those textures don't look right. I've... I don't know. Must be like a thing they don't expect you to walk over here, so... And bother to disguise it as well as they should have. I highly recommend grabbing the gems beforehand so that they aren't there to distract you, but... Of course, if you want to try to beat the race and grab the gems all in one go, uh, be my guest. I'm not going to stop you. So this this mini game is kind of infamous. Uh, the first time I played Spyro 3 to full completion, I found it kind of frustrating, uh, not unjustifiably so. So if you hate this mini game, uh, I totally understand. Uh, but you know, over time, as I've gotten better with the snowboarding, the, the skateboarding mini game controls. Uh, it's grown on me somewhat. I consider it, you know, fine. This is obviously the last level in the game, so something kind of challenging is not unjustified. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't know. It, it can be a little frustrating is the point. But it's, it's a lot less frustrating if you grab the gems beforehand so that they aren't distracting you during the race. So that you can just, you know, focus on it. If it were if it were my game, if I was designing it, I would not have put any gems here at all. I would have just let the player focus on the race, but, you know, what are you going to do? And it's one of those things that probably will not get changed for the remake, is my guess. Uh, but I digress. Oh, man. I need to stop staying up so late. Ugh. So, technically, we are out of time, but fuck it, we're gonna have one long finale part. This is our send-off to the Spyro Trilogy, after all. Might as well make it one to be remembered. Even if it's remembered because it was too long. Oi vey. So, I don't know, maybe it's faster to do it while you're racing, but it's just... Eh, I prefer to do it this way. You know, you're welcome to do it however you want. Looks like I missed something over here. Probably a couple other gems in this middle of crater here. So, as you can see, this is this is quite the complicated last course. Uh, it's kind of perilous. But, as a way to cap off the difficulty curve, 
uh, from the other four snowboarding, skateboarding sections from the game. Uh, I think it's I think it's just fine. It's a perfect way to, to end that. Let's see, it should be a couple more, and then I think there might be something up there, yeah. Let's see if I can't figure out how to jump over there. Ah, this guy up here. Oh, come on, Sparks, you're supposed to be able to grab stuff from a farther different distance. And that guy. Still more? Must be something up there. That's right at the beginning of the race, though, so... Yeah, I guess we'll we'll do that. Let's see if I... if it won't let me... It, no, I can't. It'll be easier just to kill myself. 